Hi everybody, I got this beehive from Walmart, but I'm actually not gonna use this for this project. I'm just gonna trace around it onto a Dollar Tree wall tile. Once I traced and cut it out, I cut out a little opening on the beehive. It's called a skep, and I painted it white first, then this marigold yellow. And I left a little bit of the white showing, not for any particular reason, I just thought it was pretty. And once that was dry, I took some raw umber paint and this basics you can get at Hobby Lobby. And I just hit some of the raised areas here and there, no particular pattern, just here and there, just to make it look pretty. At least I think it is. And then I took some giant popsicle sticks. I got this entire pack from Michaels for a couple of bucks. I lined them up with my right angle to make sure they were lined up properly. And I'm gonna put them together with some smaller popsicle sticks with wood glue and hot glue. And I just put three of those on and then flipped it over and stained it with that same brown paint and then wiped it a little bit with a wet baby wipe because I really like the different shades that it gives. And then I dried it completely, grabbed my beehive and then lined it up and drew around the skep. And now I'm gonna take some black paint and paint in the skep. And this is just gonna make, look, make it look like it's open. Once that's done and dry, I grab some double-sided tape. I prefer using double-sided tape versus hot glue because hot glue tends to melt these really delicate tiles. They're just really thin plastic. So I just covered the um, back surface getting up to the edge and making sure I have enough in the middle so it's all gonna be stuck down evenly. And once that was done, I just do what I just said. I flipped it over and I just mashed down on it until it was all stuck down evenly. This little bee came from a tea towel I had cut it out from. I just glued him right there and put some Excelsior on top of the beehive. You can use whatever you want here. I just love this Excelsior. And I took some Dollar Tree ribbon and made a bow. And I thought it needed something else, so I put another bow on top of that to make it pop a little bit. And then I took some buttons and threaded up some jute onto them and glued them to the top of the board. And then I flipped it over and put a jute hanger on the back and I put it right in front of the buttons so it makes it look even. I just thought that was so cute. And now I'm gonna take two more popsicle sticks. They're a little bit smaller than the ones I used for the board. I painted them yellow and I printed this out on my computer. It says unbelievably blessed. And y'all, I am needing more practice on my lettering, so this is an alternative that works perfectly every time. This is carbon paper. I put the ink side down onto my sticks, put my paper on top of that, and now I'm just gonna trace over the letters. And it takes all the pressure off of spacing and just trying to get these letters right, and look how incredible that looks. I love it. And now to seal this in, I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge so it doesn't smear. I didn't want to have to um, trace over them again with a different pen. I just added a couple of jute pieces to the back of that little sign and I'm just eyeballing it to see where I need to cut it and to hang it. So I'm just going to flip the hive over and line that up and hot glue those pieces of jute down. And then I made a couple of knots out of some more jute and glued those to the front of the sign to make it look like I drilled holes. Y'all look how cute this turned out. I love it so much. Y'all let me know what you think. Don't forget to share it around. Have an amazing rest of your evening and I will see you next time. Bye for now.